Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a marketing mix decision in Markestra Simulation Game version 7 for the durable goods. Once you access to the main page of the Markestra Simulation, you will see on your right side are all the decision panels and you can click on the marketing mix button. It will come to this page and you will see in this page all the brand names the company owns are listed on the uh, top level and if you click on those arrows you actually can move to show each brand name uh, how it performed. Let's look at this one is the most and for the most you need to decide your production which is related to product decision. Then you need to set up the price you put the price here and also you can allocate advertising budget uh, for how much you pay for the media, how much you want to pay for the research. This is the total of a budget for advertising. The next one you need to choose how you want to allocate those budget across the consumer segments. And in general, you want to use one brand to target on one segment. So basically that you should choose one segment with very high percentage. If you want to catch some other segments, you can put a very low percentage. And based on this, you can see that this company tried to target savers using this brand. 80% budget allocated to this segment and another 10% to the shoppers. And from the handbook, you probably also notice that shoppers and savers are very similar in terms of their purchase behavior. Then there are 8% high earners and 2% of professionals. So total will be 100%. The last one is the perceptual objectives for this brand. Perceptual objectives is related to the advertising, how you want to advertise your brand. If you just want to raise awareness, you can choose now. But I would suggest you want to either use a semantic scale or use a multidimensional scaling. Perceptual objectives uh, either can be based on semantic scale or dimensional scaling. If you choose a semantic scale, then you choose uh, the perceptual objectives based on the five features. So you can click this one, you have battery design, display number of features, processing power, and the price. So you choose each feature and you move the number uh, between one and five. Uh, where did you get those numbers? You can get those numbers from a semantic scale study. I will show you in another video how to obtain all those information. You can choose two dimensions. Okay, so you can choose dimension one and choose dimension two. And those are the focus of your perceptual objectives. So that is all for the this most brand. Then you can click on the move and you will see exactly the same information for the move. You can input your production plan, how many units you want to produce. You can input the price, how much you want to sell, and how much you want to spend on advertising. How do you want to allocate those budget across consumer segments? Towards the end, you will input the perceptual objectives for this brand. And you also notice that uh, at your right side, there are a lot of information here. It just uh, gives you the report about what you have done, what you have completed. Then you have a competitive pricing evolution. You can use all the information to uh, make a decision. And some of those information may be purchased through the marketing research project. So if you click on the marketing mix ex expenditures, and it will give you the summary for all the expenditures you are going to spend based on your decision. So that is for the marketing mix decision.